Good morning and welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Michael for Ford Truck Enthusiast and today we're going to do a quick walk around tour of the 2021 F-150 4x4 Super Crew King Ranch. So this is just going to be an exterior tour, walk around, check out the tailgate, the features and everything and then give you a tour of the inside as well. No review today, uh, that video will be forthcoming. Or if it's up already, link in the description. <laughs> All new 2020, new steel frame, new aluminum alloy body panels for this King Ranch. This one stickers at $74,000 with about $12,000 worth of options. It's pretty well specced out. As you can see here, here's the big change for the new year is this new front end. This is the chrome appearance package as well, which is why it has the chrome bumpers and chrome grill. As you can see here, the big change is that Ford has taken this kind of C or parenthetical lighting scheme and they've brought it down from the top all the way underneath the bumpers versus in the 2015s and everything, it just went around the lights. Some people are saying that this looks a little bit like a GMC grill, and I get that in pictures, but in execution, when you see the GMCs, when you compare it to previous generations, I don't think it actually does. Uh, it actually reminds me a little bit of 1990s F-150s. So uh, I'm, uh, the looks are really growing on me. Anyway, under the hood here, we have a third generation Coyote V8. Mixes direct and port injection, active fuel management, auto start stop. This one has the Pro Power on board, so you'll actually notice down here that there are two alternators. Making a little bit more power this year and a little bit more torque. The color on this particular one is antimatter blue with the stone gray two tone accents. This is standard. The two-tone is standard on the King Ranch Edition. Neat feature as you approach the truck with the key fob in hand, it should, there we go. That comes down. This has the extended range gas tank, so 36 gallons. Again, with the chrome appearance package, you get the big King Ranch logo in the back. And you also get a power tailgate with this particular model. Very fun feature. Tough bed spray and liner. It's got the work step that we've seen for the last few years. Very nice feature for getting up into the tailgate now that F-150s are the size of F-250s from when I was a kid. <laughs> the tailgate work surface has been redone for this year. Very neat thing. You've got a couple rulers with inches and centimeters. On this end, you've got these two holes here and here. These are clamp holes, so you can put wood clamps in and you know hold things down that you're cutting or working on, etc. etc. There's a couple bottle openers here and here. Uh, and then in here, this is the Pro Power outlets that you get in the back. This one is only the two kilowatts, so you get just the two outlets there with the, you get the 7.2, you get more outlets. This is, you've got the onboard LED lighting. These tie downs are removable and lockable, so you can kind of add different accessories here around the bed. But overall, pretty familiar bed to anyone who's had the tough bed spray and liner. Definitely a great accessory, I think. These are the optional chrome wheels. I kind of like the original ones better, the kind of the uh, they're either gold or they're gray. I think that, I'm just not a chrome person myself. Oh, let me see if I can show you the color. So it looks navy blue and black at times, but if you check it out, oh man, it's an absolutely beautiful color. There's tons of blue metallic flake in there and it's definitely awesome. By the way, you'll see, you will never forget that you're driving a King Ranch edition. There's logos everywhere. We actually did a separate video, link in the description or above that counts the exact number of King Ranch references. Okay, I'll show you the back seats. Right now, as always, tons of leg room in the back seat for adults and kids alike. This one does not have any optional storage underneath, which is a bit of a 
disappointment for me. It's got the optional rubber floor mats as well. Two-tone leather, nice upgrade over the 2020 model. And of course the seats here, you fold them up because these are the max recline seat, but basically these seats fold completely flat and you can use them for nap time at the, at the workspace. Also in back, no climate controls, which you'll see in things like the Expedition and such, but you do get heated rear seats, the 12 volt charger, an actual power outlet, and a couple of USB ports in the center stack. All right, coming into the passenger side, what you'll notice here, a couple things. They've added the second glove box from the Super Duties, the upper one. So you got your standard glove box and your upper one now. One interesting thing is that it's got this plastic here that looks like brushed aluminum. I think it looks really sharp, but I think it's also very gonna be very easy to scratch. This is a loaner from Ford for our review. It's already got a couple scratches over here that I noticed. Again, the leather, two-tone brown, is very, very nice. Definitely a little bit softer than previous years. These seats are, both the drivers and the passenger are heated, cooled, and they have a massage feature, which is really neat. Storage, you've got the two cup holders here, two cup holders here. This, uh, the gear selector folds down. So that's got the workspace, plenty of storage underneath still lockable. There we go. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as Sync 4. This is the 12-inch screen. Very big upgrade versus the, the way that this was all set up last year. In here, you will find your wireless charging pad as well as a couple USB ports for charging and using the stereo. The stereo in this particular model is the 18 speaker B&O Unleashed system. And it's got speakers in the ceiling and, you know, in the center here and over here and a couple in the headrests as well. This is an excellent sounding speaker system, you guys. It's probably the best car stereo I've ever heard in a Ford vehicle before. Really, really nice, really well balanced, clean. Okay, moving into the captain's chair. All right, so let's take another look here at this screen. So this is obviously, you get the CarPlay, which pops up wirelessly, or you can plug it in. You've got tons of audio sources here, Sirius XM, Bluetooth, Pandora, AM, FM, navigation. This is Ford's version of it, Sync 4, very nice. You can also put it up over here on this side of the screen. I haven't been able to figure out how to make the screen do one thing. So I think you have to use this section for these you know, your lighting, your pro power, fuel economy, your trip one. You can have your audio source here. You can also have navigation here if you're running something else there. You can edit your favorites, different apps, vehicle settings. So connectivity. And over here in features is where you're gonna find the owner's manual. It's a digital only owner's manual for 2021. So, and what's neat about it is that not only can you search for certain topics, what you'll find there, but you can also watch, they've got videos that will tell you how to do things right in the system. It's very cool. Also, you'll see guys, you got your 12, another 12 volt outlet here, 120, dual climate zone, which you can connect. Again, the seats are cooled, heated, and they have a massaging feature, which is cool. Let me pull that up for you. So you press a button on the side of the seat and the seats come up. You can turn on the massaging and pick different modes. It's pretty neat. You know, is it the best massage ever? No, but sitting in an F-150, it's still very, very impressive. Over here, you've got your trailer backup assist, which they show in all the commercials. Start stop button over here. You've got your trailer connectivity buttons and then here's your drive mode selector which we'll get to in just a second but in, in addition to that you've you know you can pick between two high your different four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive modes but as for the drive modes themselves i've got it in sport mode right now here is eco tow haul normal 
slippery, deep snow sand, mud and ruts. And then I think if you get the Tremor or FX4 packages, you get a rock crawl mode, probably just with the Tremor. But yeah, and it'll shift to different modes too. It's different four wheel drive modes. Other things to check out here, you've got your all your menu buttons and phone buttons right here. You've got your cruise control and volume buttons right here for the stereo. So next track, all that sort of stuff. More settings in here, you can configure the gauges. Neutral tow mode in your settings. It'll show you what's playing. Show your phone call, show you navigation bits. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Trip and fuel economy you can put up there as well. This has the trans cooler showing right now. And uh, last but not least, over here, you'll find some more lighting. You got the tailgate buttons here. Here's your lighting controls for your headlights and, and so forth, back lights. Parking brake is over here. It's pull on, push off. You can adjust your pedal position. So you can move them in and out, depending on your height. And you got memory seat functionality over here, door locks, of course. You got the telescoping mirrors for when you're towing. Very great feature. Also the mirrors fold in and out if you're in tight parking spaces. Hello, me! Children's window locks, and then of course your actual mirror the top mirror position the bottom ones you do manually and then door windows and got sunglasses holder up here and then this is for the if you get the power rear window that's there as well okay guys there you have it our walk around exterior and interior tour of the 2021 f-150 4x4 super crew king ranch this one again stickers for about seventy four thousand dollars in antimatter blue, beautiful color. Really enjoying our time with the truck. What do you think about the 2021 F-150 redesign? What do you think about the King Ranch edition as a whole? Is it for you? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're watching this video on our website, make sure to join in on in our forums and let us know what you think over there as well. But. Anyway, that is the 2021 F-150 King Ranch. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are well and safe and have yourself a fantastic day. Cheers.